What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So Kendrick Lamar dropped a video for his diss track to Drake called Not Like Us and I must say it's the most epic diss video I have seen so far. I mean every single frame was intentional and you could tell they really put thought into making sure the references were straight to the point and that they hit as hard as the track itself. Like people can't get over this song, me included, and he literally performed the song five times back to back on Juneteenth at his pop out celebration. That whole concert was crazy and as if that wasn't enough, he dropped a music video on the 4th of July, so he just wanted to annihilate Drake on both holidays. Kendrick is so petty, and I am here for it. And one thing I love about Kendrick is the fact that he's a visual creative artist. Everything you see in his videos is very intentional and executed flawlessly. I mean, he had loads of people literally dancing to a song where Drake was just getting violated left and right, and the whole thing is so diabolical to me. I almost felt bad for Drake at some point, but then I realized that Drake pretty much asked for it. Like he knew exactly what Kendrick Lamar was capable of and maybe he underestimated him at some point, but he knew Kendrick wouldn't just fold and give in. He taunted Kendrick when Kendrick was quiet, saying he wasn't a top rapper like that, telling him to drop new music, and guess what he did drop music? Drake just didn't like it. In fact, he previewed another song. I think it was produced by DJ Mustard, so I'm interested to hear that song in full, but yeah, the video was dope in my opinion. There was a scene where he was beating up this piñata of an owl, and if you don't know by now, Drake uses the owl as a symbol for his OVO brand, and in that scene, Kendrick put a disclaimer at the bottom saying, no OVOs were harmed during the making of this video. Another part that I thought was super diabolical was when he said trying to strike a chord, and it's probably a minor, referencing Drake allegedly being a PDF file, if you know what I mean. This dude was literally hopscotching. For those who may not know, hopscotch is a game that kids play. I played it a lot with my brothers when we were kids, so for him to do that and actually have kids say the word a minor was crazy to me. Then there was the fact that he had his fiance, Whitney, and the kids, and these two were dancing to Drake getting violated. This was just crazy because Drake did say that Kendrick and Whitney weren't together. He claimed that Kendrick put his hands on Whitney and had her running scared. And he also accused Whitney of having a baby with Kendrick's collaborator and friend, Dave Free. Come to find out none of that was true. He didn't have bars, so he decided to make stuff up. But Kendrick pretty much made Drake look like the biggest liar because he had Whitney in there dancing with the kids. And then Dave Free actually directed the video with him. So yeah, this just proved that a lot of the things Drake said in his diss tracks did not have any truth to them. The last part I want to talk about is the end of the video. Now only Kendrick Lamar can come up with this kind of stuff. I mean, he literally had an owl in front of him and he was looking at it and then the camera pans behind him and shows the owl in a cage, pretty much symbolizing the fact that he had Drake on lock. Like, Drake has been humbled and I think it would be better for him to just take a break from the rap game for a while because nobody is going to take anything he has to say seriously from now on. I mean, obviously he is going to want to maintain a social life. He did attend that all-white party on the 4th of July and people were making fun of him saying he lost a bit of weight and blaming it on the whole Kendrick Lamar rap battle that he miserably lost. Kendrick, on the other hand, is killing it. It's his season, and he's going to be dropping an album soon, and he is doing it as an independent artist, so I'm happy for him, and I can't wait to see what he does next. But as always, do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Catch you in the next one.